you want. Oh yeah. Hello everybody. Gonna try and uh, redeem myself today with this other camera I've got. I'm gonna do some blade sharpening and getting up under the deck. I'm gonna show you just with these impact drivers. Um, I've done it like a blade uh, changing. I'm sure I've done a couple of episodes already. I'll tag that for you. Uh, get over to there. Scroll back through the video too. You don't have to click on it right now. Watch the whole video of this and then uh, come back to that. But it'll be well worth watching. Um, little tips and stuff I'm not really going to talk about today. I'm just going to try and get some nice camera footage for you and different angles. Uh, just as a little creative thing for me to do and um, play around with a little bit. But with these impact drivers, I don't care if you go to the hardware store and just get the cheapest brand you can find. This isn't the most powerful of uh, impact drivers. It definitely does the job uh, well and truly. Throw your socket in it, get your little adapters for your sockets to go into and that to go into your drill. Beats using these and having to use like a little block and tackle setup with <laughs> getting it up underneath the deck and pinning it. It's, um, it's well worth just getting one of these impact drivers. Brrr, out it comes and away you go. So just in a bit of a mood, I was doing a uh, happy mood that is. It's TikTok <laughs> dance or something. Head over there as well after this video, check it out. Very embarrassing, but anyway, I thought I'd throw it on there, see what happens with it. Oh, and I'd like, I'll do these things, and at the end of the day, it's just to get it out there, to try and get as many people watching the actual content that's worth watching. The dance ain't worth watching, but it's um, to get you to look at the page and go, oh, well, he's actually got some good ideas with some things. And again, it's just to show what you can do um, with a business like this. It's very, very simple procedures and systems that are in place, and it's just, it ticks over just like clockwork. It's like literally printing money. Um, when the grass is growing, peak season especially, it is like the same thing. They talk about the greenback and everything else, and this, this green grass, there's a lot of money to be made in it. And it, I don't like talking about these bigger and better things that you can do, like uh, as far as money's everything. It's not, definitely not. Problem is, in this day and age, we need it, all right? And to make your life a little bit easier, it's easier with money than without. I've been in both scenarios, not at the stage of being homeless, of course, but it's, um, yeah, week to week, definitely done that for many years. And talking to a few people recently about it, that's why with the business, I, I could take so many risks um, and have done. I've invested a lot of money and now I'm reaping the rewards. And it's only really been for the last six months, okay? The last two, and a half years has been just fully pumping it all back into this, getting the systems in place, getting it to a stage that I can actually be profitable, uh, efficient, and doing something that I enjoy every single day, not doing them odd jobs that aren't really bringing in that revenue that you require. So that's the balance that I've had to tweak, perfect. Still not perfected. I don't think it ever will be. But I'll keep striving to make it even better, okay? And that's what I want for you guys. That's why I've made this channel, and it's not gonna be the biggest and best channel out there, but it's gonna provide someone, and it already has done, um, a lot of information to just give them the head start that they, they deserve, really. It's, um, yeah, don't let anyone tell you any different. This, this, this is the industry. If you enjoy it, you can definitely make a lot of money in it, okay? Cheers, guys. See ya on the next slide. Yeah, that'll work. Look at that. I'll get some under footage for you. Underneath footage. Something like that. Hopefully you can uh, pick up some stuff here. I'll get the grill out. Let's check it out. Alrighty. So, 24 millimeter socket, guys. Um, in the end of this little drill here. Works perfect. Um, ideally, you want the hex head, not, not one like that. Uh, it can and has done in the past on, when I was a plumber, like a, you would strip more often than not if you were using this type of socket with all these little jagged edges, you want the actual hex head where it is designed for the actual bolt. This one can strip them, okay? So over time, this will do damage. Um, it's a, it's three bolts, right? So not, not the end of the world, but just something to consider, okay? So I'll get this under here, you'll see how easy it is. Um, and I, I really do like the ease of use of these compared to 
um, pinning a bit of timber in there and using your your uh, ratchet. Usually you've got to put an extension on your ratchet as well, a little longer bit of metal to get the leverage. This alleviates all that, okay? So we'll get under here. Again, be safe. If you're unsure of how this is going to sit, pin something under here as well. Better yet, get one of those, if you're in America, you've got them super jacks and things like that. Uh, looking at pricing and getting one over here, it's like 500 bucks. Again, probably a um, sound investment as I will be using it every fortnight, very shortly. Um, instead of doing this and having to alternate each side, you can just lift it up. There are easier ways. At the moment, this is just what I do, okay? So, thought I'd throw that in there. We'll get this up and under. Hopefully, you can see. Yeah, I reckon that looks not too bad. Roll that. If I can zoom in or need to, we, we can do that too. Alright, so position him on there, really easy. And I do these up fairly, fairly well. Like I said, if you had a stronger impact driver, it's even easier again, okay? That's it. And that's how easy it is. These blades took an absolute beating in the last week of work. That's just like one week. Not too bad, but also not the greatest. Not what I like to have it as when I'm cutting lawns. It's just a very dull blade there. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I'm just alternating. I've got, I'll just swap it straight over. So I'll take these two out, go get two, put them on, and then I'll just do the one on the other side there, okay? And I just keep the same bolt on the same side. I don't alternate the bolts. Just a little habit that I do. Again, you don't have to do everything I'm doing. It's just to let you guys know. Okay, and then usually I just give that a quick clean around there for when the new one goes on. Happy days. Get rid of any bits of grass. Any, uh, usually there's some string or something that you've picked up in the lawns. And that's it, I'll go get the other blades and throw them on. Alrighty, here's the new ones. Okay, again, not the greatest, but also a lot better and that's a lot sharper. They're also gator blades, mulching blades, whatever else you want to call it. Um, these ones I find do blend it up that little bit better, even when you're side discharging. Um, these ones simply clear the deck out quick Got little wings on them and just really get it uh, a bit more airflow. Obviously you get that lift um, just there. Really sucks up the grass blades before it gets cut. But either or, this chops it up finer. This can potentially leave a neater finish. But then it's catch 22 because you've got that grass expelling. Um, therefore more cleanups, more blowdowns or double passing needed. So in my opinion, these are the way to go. Okay, throw them on real quick. We'll get on to the other side. Um, probably don't need to show you the other side once you see these two. It is quite difficult though when you're on camera reaching further than you normally would. So it should uh, be quite obvious which way these go. You obviously don't want to do that way. Okay guys? <laughs> and then if you're doing like a time master or something and they're timed, then you've got to actually set them up right. And in this case, these don't touch, okay? Bloody beautiful. See you on the flip side. Okay guys, got a little uh, 36 inch Skag V-Ride 2 ready to go. Get them blades off. Got a fresh brand new set just here. A lot of people shave this as well. They give it a sharpen before. Um, typically, you use this once, it leaves a nice shine on there anyway. The grass blades do that for you. Um, and I've never had an issue with that on any lawns, causing any uh, disease, any, any untoward, unwanted things happening. Um, I guess that's just another step that I don't really, it's a brand new set of blades, you know? each their own. Do what you want, but I don't see the need in it, or nor do I want to do it. <laughs> you sharpen enough blades, and then there's enough maintenance to do anyway. Brand new set, good to go. So I'll get this one up, and uh, 
show you the sharpening process. See you soon. All right, that's the most I've had it overhanging before. I just wanted to see if I could um, potentially get to both blades, but looking at this, I do not think so. No, it's just gonna miss. It's a bugger, that's where these trolleys, they really would come in handy. Um, I'll get these off, this one's a bit different, so I'll get the footage with that other camera, get, uh, uh, other camera there, and we'll get some um, proper footage for you, and uh, get up nice and close. See you in a sec. Thank you, Dave, guys. There is that little nut on top here. Now you'll find when you're undoing it from underneath, just like you would with that impact driver, you may need to get the impact driver onto that and get a shifter, spanner, pair of multi grips if you've got nothing else, just to hold that steady, okay? Otherwise it might just spin on you and you might just need to keep hold of that to loosen the top off because it's a long bolt. You'll see it right now, exactly what I'm talking about. Typically now I've got it just to a setting that I can get it off. And I hold it up top with my fingers and that's enough. Typically you don't want to do that in case it does strip on you. Uh, again, do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> All right. So this is that long center bolt. So you want to make sure you've got enough height between that and the ground. Um, and if not, you're going to have to hold that up while it drops through. And that's how long this one is. This is the difference in my opinion. Another big factor for the SCAG quality that they've re they're renowned for. They've got a name for it now. Um, well and truly. I just think that this, that's just solid as. If you remember that bolt that came out of the Husky, it was that long. <laughs> this carries right through the whole shaft. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just solid. Reliability, all in all. That's why they have the name they have. Simply the best, which is what my TikTok video was about. <laughs> Jimmy Barnes, Tina Turner, simply the best, okay? Okay, got them both going. Uh, clear underneath here again. See how it just gets whatever bit of string that you pick up as you're mowing. And, it, and it's, uh, yeah, I've got the other camera set up. So I'll quickly throw this on and you'll be able to see the top vision as well. So, I'll show you there. Bolt, washer, blade, spacer. That's the order it comes. You've got your other nut to go on top. So typically, I can just feed this through and all in one motion. Get this screwed on at least hand tight down to the base. Now this is where another set of uh, shifter, spanner or multi grips would come in handy. But typically, if you can go hand tight and see how it's spinning underneath there and just spinning, it's spinning underneath there and just spinning on itself. You go hand tight, now get the impact driver. And you'll watch up here. I'll throw the uh, footage there so you see it. And you can actually just dip it up from underneath here. See how it's spinning? Actually just dip it up from underneath here. See how it's spinning? And then it tightens itself. Okay. These little swallows, absolutely. Love it in this shed. That little fella. When we first got in here, there was a lot of bird poop covering this floor. <laughs> now I've just noticed, under here, I won't be keeping them swallows in here. <laughs> Sorry for the sidetrack. All right, just how dirty that is, okay? Um, not ideal. Gonna give it a quick scrape out now. See how it looks. I might even get it up and under and pressure clean. Um, just a lot of gunk. Not, not what you want, okay? I was concentrating on the uh, blade change and I've got over this side and really noticed it. 
shining through even on the other side there. So grab yourself whatever scraper you've got, get rid of the bolt, clean it right up. Hey, rightio. I was not expecting it to be that dirty. I only used it two days last week, and it's obviously sat here since then. That's why I uh, always learn something on these videos, okay? Pays to check. Wasn't even that wet when I was using it. Um, clearly, an area there was. It's stuck up under there. Very embarrassing to show, but it goes to show, even as often as I do it, it can build up. Oh, look at that. Okay. Just a quick glance, wouldn't have hurt to do last week. Something to throw in the video, but okay. You don't want that sitting on your deck, helps uh, rust it out a lot quicker. And um, doesn't leave the nicest to finish on, on your client's yards. Potentially could bring disease as well, because of that just festering up underneath the deck, just sitting there. Not ideal, okay. Always something to learn. Righto, hello, hello, hello. Onto the blade sharpening. Got the skag. I'll just pin them in like this, okay? Just in the vise. Very, very simple, like everything is in this trade industry. Hello over there. You've got this view. You've got this view. Flappy discs. All right, that's what we use. Find you get a bit more flexibility, a bit more control, rather than a fixed uh, grinding disc. These little flappy discs. Get them in a big pack, cheap as chips. I think uh, under 10 bucks for all those different varieties, okay? Enjoy. Sunnies, hearing protection, which I'll go grab now. I feel like the video doesn't need to continue showing that process that many times. So hopefully I can explain it as quick as I can possibly explain it. I know someone else can do it quicker, but here's my uh, analogy of it all. My process, hit the top, you would have seen across the top. Follow the angle of the blade, okay? Come through underneath, that's all by feel, and that is good enough for what I do. You can get it even better, but all in all, that's a quick sharpen. Anything goes wrong on the job, or with those, say you hit a rock, anything. Anything goes untoward with them blades, you've got these in the trailer, in the ute, wherever you want to keep them. Handy, ready to go. That's the idea of doing this now, and then if nothing happens, the next time, two weeks time, that's when these will be due, I swap them straight over, same process, okay? So I might get a couple little uh, extra little bit of footage with this camera over here, just to zoom in for you, get some different angles and play around with that. I'll throw that in the video and uh, like and subscribe if you've learned something here. But flappy disc is the way to go. A bit more control, uh, especially if you're a novice with a grinder. Um, not that I'm a novice with it, it's just, it is a lot easier um, for the, the angle that you've got to get on these blades some of them just quickly while i've got you we got this this is a perfect example okay 
See the angle and the shape of this? I'm gonna get behind it so I know you can definitely see it. We'll go this way. Okay? That is a major angle for a fixed blade to get. I've really noticed with the flappy discs, it curves. There's a little bit more play, all right? So let's get this here and I'll just show you. Let's see if we can, uh, you're not gonna get it. I'll try and get it, you'll see it. You can see that little bit of play there. That really helps cushion and can get thin as. I'm gonna get it hopefully on this camera and uh, you'll see exactly what I mean, but it can conform to whatever shape you require a lot easier than a fixed disc would. And if you're trying to use this like a flip, uh, if you're trying to use a fixed disc, fixed grinding disc on something like this and it's got to try and curve, there's a good chance that the fixed disc will crack, break, send off shards everywhere, okay? They're not designed to flex too much, whereas these flappy discs, hence the word flappy, it can just curve that little bit, okay? I'll get some close-up footage. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Righto, final tip to finish the video guys. Uh, choose a battery when you are grinding. So always have one on charge, ready to go. Um, camera's up there, Dan. <laughs> and you just need that power um, to rip in, especially with these thicker blades. They're a bit tougher metal than the, especially the push mowers. Um, they're a lot thinner and easier to grind than the thicker, heavier zero turn blades. That's the final tip, wrapping the video up. I won't talk no more, no more footage. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, remember to just like that uh, video for me, push that little thumbs up, and subscribe up if you are interested in this. I'm gonna get my other channel going, simply, purely, lawn mowing. Must have been the wind. See you next time, bye.